All right. So let's go ahead and get started into the content that I know you guys showed up here for today. So, you know, oftentimes worry, stress about the future is what can lead to anxiety. But some of us just basically have an anxiety disorder. It's not so much we don't even know what we're worrying or stressing about. It's just this anxiety takes hold of us. And I feel like it's a side effect of living in today's society. It's just how we lead our lives today is not the best and latest. It's the latest, but it's not the greatest, right? I believe that um, ancient humans had it down or the cultures that live without a lot of the technology were immersed in the technology, were immersed in so much fakeness in, from what do we put on our bodies to how we wash, to what we drink, to what we eat to what we listen to, to the media, to what influences us in every aspect. We're bombarded by it. And I feel like this is what leads to a lot of panic and anxiety disorders. Um, so for some, it's sort of unexplainable. And for some, it's worrying or stressing about the future that leads to anxiety. I heard someone say the other day that um, thinking on the past leads to depression and thinking and stressing about the future leads to anxiety. So if you can help, you know, reel in your thoughts, that can do some benefit right there. But we're going to talk about crystals today, okay? So I've got five crystals I'd like to talk to you about that are wonderful for inviting in the vibrations we want to invite in to get us past this anxiety. Remember, we want to stay to the end because I'm going to give you two actionable tools today. We're going to do something interactive. If you have any of these crystals nearby, Go grab them and bring them as you hear me discuss them and bring them here because you may want to use one or you will want to use one later. Okay, so rose quartz is the love crystal, right? It's the love, compassion, kindness. <clears throat> love is the opposite of fear. And that's what anxiety is all about at its root is fear. So this stone invites in and embodies the love vibration. It's excellent for calming, kindness, like we said, love, compassion. If you've recently had any fear revolving around, you know, any sort of PTSD, chaos, fights, emotional drama, confrontations, this stone is really going to help calm everything down, comfort your heart chakra, okay? It also invites in loads of self-love, which is great for dispelling fear, okay? Also, if you're taking notes, write down that this is a water-safe stone, okay? Water-safe. We'll talk about why that in a moment. All right, the next one I want to talk about is blue lace agate. And this stone is well known for centering and calming your vibrational frequencies. It works really, really well for reprogramming your thoughts and your reactions, for calming your electromagnetic field. It's a throat chakra stone, so it allows us to express ourselves in a calm, gentle way with a positive outlook. Um, this is just what you're needing when you're overtaken by fear and anxiety because you might not be thinking rationally you might be lashing out or saying things in a wrong way and we want to get them back to the correct way so again you know throat chakra stone really great for that and you can just tell by looking at it it's gentle energy right allows you to speak your mind clearly but calmly and um, very eloquently stating what needs to be said, but not in a way that's going to exasperate the situation and clearly get you out of those fear inducing confrontations, situations. So wonderful for keeping close by when you're dealing with any kind of anxiety. Again, if you're taking notes, this one is water safe water safe. Again, we'll talk about why I even mentioned that in a little bit. All right, black tourmaline. I was gripping this guy while I was trying to get this techie stuff figured out. Um, it's known for its ability to transmute and cleanse energy. 
well-known stone for that. This is a nice, chunky, uh, weighty piece of black tourmaline, also very high grade. It's hard to find them in this condition anymore. So if you're perceiving energy or a situation to be negative, this stone is wonderful for transmuting it and bringing it to neutral. This is your go-to stone for that. Wonderful for purifying energy. So another good one to have nearby. I wouldn't say that this one's water safe because there is some elemental contents in there that don't get all up in arms about it, but I err on the side of caution always when it comes to that. So I'm going to skip water safe on that. Not water safe, we'll just say. Okay, Chrysocola. I have a sphere of Chrysocola. Looks like the planet Earth. So Chrysocola has a very feminine, soothing vibration, just as you would expect Mother Gaia or Mum Gaia, the planet, to have. It really calms your heart chakra. If your heart chakra is just, you know, you feel it beating out of fear or with the panic or the anxiety, Chrysocola is a great one to have for that. It's, oh, sorry. It's also going to give you more confidence when you're just paralyzed with fear. And maybe you know you need to communicate with others um, and you're having fear around the confrontation or saying the right thing or say, saying it in a way that maintains your boundaries, but you get the point across. How many times have you thought about what you're going to say? This happens to me all the time. And then you say it and because of fear, you don't say it in the way that it needs to be said. And then you walk away knowing that that person didn't hear you and you didn't you didn't articulate what you really needed to say. And now you're just gripped with fear. You don't want to go back and have that confrontation again. And you're crossing your fingers that they understood what you needed to understand. And it was a complete miscommunication and no one understood anything. And they just keep doing the same thing, right? So Chrysocola is the one that's going to get you out of that situation. When you simply need some security in the social situations, confrontations, or social situations of any kind. It's a great one to either wear as jewelry or keep in your pocket. Or what if, you know, public speaking is a big one. People are really, really terrified of public speaking. Some people are. Not all of us, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you get a little, I get a little nervous about it, but I, I don't mind. I love public speaking. Um, but I know that's one of the biggest fears. And Chrysocola is one that I recommend um, for having in your pocket or a mojo kit or in your bra, wherever you like to have it when you're doing any kind of public speaking. Okay, the last one I don't have with me. I wanted to have it with me, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. It's Nirvana Quartz, and it's one I really did wish I had here with me to show you because it's not a common one. It's got, um, it, it comes from Tibet. It's a beautiful quartz, large, chunky, very milky. It's not clear at all. It's got lots of etching on it and a coating of hematite so it's slightly pink pinkish white barely pink um, nirvana quartz is wonderful for helping you to overcome fear and allowing you to trust to invite in trust okay it's also allowing you to love yourself fully all the flaws included because nirvana quartz visually is covered in flaws so it helps you to learn to accept and love yourself with all the flaws, and I'm putting that into quotes because you are perfect in all your ways. The way that you are is 100% perfect. There are no flaws. It's so that we're not all carbon copies of each other in every way. I'm talking energetically, personality-wise, and as well as physical. Okay, so Nirvana Quartz is wonderful for that. If you have issues with that, get yourself a Nirvana Quartz. And Nirvana Quartz is a water safe one. So if you want to um, say that. Uh, I did see somebody ask about Chrysocola. I did not mention it's water safe and I don't consider it to be water safe because of its copper, possible copper content and some other, because Chrysocola is a stone, actually. It's not a crystal. It's a mixture of other minerals. Um, there's other things in there to be debated with the geologists. I'll leave that to them. So I'm not listing it as water safe. So we're going to do an anxiety busting meditation here together. Okay. And just, you know, meditation can be effective, really, really effective for relieving anxiety, but 
It can be even more effective when you incorporate one of the crystals that I mentioned before. So if you have one of those crystals with you, go ahead and grab it. And meditation can be, doesn't have to be an hour long. It can be effective in as little as 10 minutes. Okay, so if you are gripped by anxiety on a daily basis, I would highly recommend doing a crystal meditation for 10 minutes daily. All right. There are guided meditations with calming ocean waves. Um, the ones that I really like are the ones with the binaural beats. If you're not sure what that is, you can Google it. I'm not going to get into it now because it's beyond the scope of what we're talking about here today. But the theta wave binaural beats will actually entrain or influence your brain and soothe your nervous system. And um, there's a great one called Relieve Anxiety by a company called Brain Sync that I really like. Um, brain sync is uh, brain space s y n c dot com. You can go there and just look for the relieve anxiety. They have a great guided meditation. I think you can also find it on YouTube too. Um, what's great about the theta waves is that theta waves are all about relieving anxiety. It's the childlike brain. It's where deep learning can take place. It's also um, a brainwave state you go into when you're in deep sleep, and it allows you to absorb and retain massive amounts of information that gets stored in your long-term memory. So it's most like the brainwave state that you can be in to be most like a quartz crystal, because these are things that quartz crystals can do is store massive amounts of information in a bank, in a data bank. That's something that quartz crystals are able to do. So theta wave brains makes, theta wave <laughs> makes our brains more like a quartz crystal. Okay. And, you know, again, uh, meditating can help you to temporarily relax, but it gives you long-term effects too. They accumulate when you do it on a daily basis. And like I said, you just 10 minutes is, is great, but it's greatly amplified when you use a crystal. And more importantly, it works on a deeper level by physically altering your actual brain function and brain wave activity. Okay, so getting your brain more into theta, more, you know, if we just leave it alone and do nothing, you're always going to be in beta when you're awake. And that's great for doing, you know, things, but it can be taxing and stressful on our brains. And it's good to bring it and entrain it into theta when you're able to. And um, meditation can actually reprogram your brain to be less anxious over the long term. So, that's the goal here, right? And like I said, it can be effect effective, extremely effective in as little as 10 minutes. All right, so clear your space, close your door, try to go to a quiet space. If you're driving right now, you don't wanna be doing that, you wanna save this for later. Um, and just create sacred space mentally in your mind. Visualize yourself in a sacred space. Try to control whatever you can as far as noise goes and hold one of your crystals, whichever crystal it may be, if you have one. If you don't have access to a crystal, that's okay. You can still do this with us, okay? So we're going to take a few deep breaths and close your eyes. We're actually going to take this time to be present and go deep within and relax the mind. Feeling anything you're holding on to, release it any sensations, any tightness in your muscles, any tension, check in with your emotions. What are you feeling right now? Just notice and observe and then leave it there. And visualize the interior of the crystal you're holding, the orderliness of it as it influences and reduces the chaos in your brain. And now bring our attention to our breath, not doing anything special with it, just notice it. And gently breathe in to invite space in your body and breathe out to release any any tension with awareness. Now bring your attention to your belly as it rises and falls with each breath. And 
bring the breath there to your belly so that instead of expanding our lungs, we breathe with the belly of a baby. Plump the belly out as you inhale. And I'll release it as you exhale. Expanding the belly on an inhale and falling on the exhale. We're mindful of the breath coming in and going out. Just breathing naturally, normally, but aware of the rise and the fall of your baby belly, mindfully breathing. This belly breathing actually calms us. You can do this whenever you're feeling stressed, angry, anxious, anxiety, fearful in any way. Now bring your focus, our awareness back into your crystal again. And notice the energy vibration as that crystal's frequency entrains and influences your own. Remember the orderliness within that crystal. It's reducing the chaos in your brain. And even, even during this meditation, we might be experiencing a fearful thought or some anxious thought or worry or fear. And we can just observe it and let it go. Say, thank you for showing up. You're not needed here right now. Don't worry about it because you can pick it up later if you want to. No matter what might be popping into your brain, you can give yourself permission now to be peaceful. Permission to be peaceful. And you can silently say to yourself, I allow myself to experience complete calm and peacefulness with my crystal in this moment. I allow myself to experience complete calm and peacefulness with my crystal in this moment. And just come back to your breath again, gentle inhale and exhale, feeling your belly expanding on the inhalation, releasing on the exhalation. Just gently breathing in and out. On your next exhale, you can even, on your next exhale, you can even audibly sigh and sense the energy gently washing over you. Ah. With your eyes still closed, give gratitude to your crystal, feel it in your hand, and you can gently wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you feel ready, you can come back to us.